Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish, and welcome to the Artist Haven. In tonight's live stream, we are going to work on some collage stamping. Usually, collages are a bunch of different mediums all combined together, and but we're going to kind of do the same thing. So, what I have here, and you'll see this on the thumbnail for this video is a book page that I brayered off a bunch of paint because I was making some backgrounds and I'm like, well, we could do this and we could do that and you know, whatever, but this would make a really good matting for something or cut out, um, like cut out a little section of it and make it into a frame for something or tear it up and use it for more collaging. Um, but there's, you can kind of see there's a butterfly in the background and this chunky stamp that I don't really like, but I love the gold stamp. This is my favorite one that's not a Robin McClendon stamp, but there's some scripting in purple, some scripting in white, um, and you can have all kinds of um, layers and things. So we're going to go through that because I want to show you how you can take you know, your offcasts, because I have a lot of offcasts, and they look kind of, they look really cool just by themselves. But I'm going to step it up a notch. I mean, you can kind of see the, the script behind it, maybe. There we go, camera. Come on, camera, call up, all right. Um, but there's a whole bunch of really cool backgrounds that are just brayered off. And then um, this is also a way to save when you rip your paper <laughs> yeah we won't go there um but you can save you know pieces that don't look really pretty you might you can revitalize them um or let's see this is another this is me playing around with the stamps found out that stamp doesn't work very well with this process and i'll go over that in a second um but i got some really cool backgrounds some bigger ones um just playing around with the jelly the speedball jelly plate, which I'm not really liking, and I'll go into that in another video. Um, but I did four different ones, and you can see which paints I always gravitate towards, blue and red and Payne's gray. Um, I tried this iridescent stainless steel. Whoa. Whoa. They, um, I be de be and titanium buff, which I had, or titan buff is what it's called in golden. Um, but, because I, I like white, I like an, I like a white, you know, and um, the titanium white is a little bit too white. So it looks, you know, like a Minnesotan after a long winter. So we're gonna play around with this and have some fun. Um, so depending on what colors you have in your background, like let's go with this one, this one, and say this one, because it's really kind of dark. Um, yeah, this one's even darker yet. Well, def depend on what kind of paints or what kind of inks you use in your collage. Um, you're also going to want to find stamps that aren't super detailed like um some of these details in the butterfly are gonna go away um not as much as say like um let's see let me show you i have this this is my favorite stamp and do i have the other oh yeah it's underneath uh -huh. So you can see this is like really super fine stuff. Super, super fine. We don't want that. Um, something that's a little bit bigger like this is a little bit better. But um, unfortunately, um, a lot of my stamps are finely detailed like that. So I did find one that was a script print that, um, a script print that works really well. So, um, <clears throat> let's see. So, 
So tonight we're going to use a different um, color palette than what we'll, we'll do these three and we'll play around with those. And then this will give us an idea of how they'll print off on these bigger ones. So, you know, these are your tests. These are your, your prototypes, um, much akin to whatever I did with that other one. Oh, Lord, have mercy. There it is. So this is just me playing around with different colors and seeing how they, they worked on acrylic paint. Um, different um, archival ink. I've got some distressed ink, some distressed, um, well, distressed ink, distressed ink, archival ink, and some golden uh, iridescent gold. That's this right here. And this was um, the re-inked version. This was, a, a, but we'll see. We'll show you. We'll show you. As if me, myself, and I will show you. So let's go. Um, let's do. Let's do the scripting. Um, because I like that in the background. And how you you know, figure out what you want. So here's this the new scorch timber. Um, my suggestion to you is when you buy a new ink pad buy the reinker right away that way you're you always have it on hand um i have several ink pads that are not as um juicy i guess because you know i don't use the m word um they're not as as inky as i would like them to be so take your stamps <coughs> excuse me where is all this stuff coming from Smog isn't even up here. And, you know, give it a good, a good show. So there's that. That's the Scorch Timber. And then this is Archival Ink um, Mulberry, which is a really nice, I like the red. It's kind of a reddish brown. And I think I used something on here beforehand so it might not give a true color but it'll give us the close approximation and this is one of my favorite butterfly stamps so yeah I absolutely love that stamp and then let's do this iridescent gold now this is how I apply the ink, um, the fluid acrylics, these are the fluids. I take an ink dauber and I put a little bit on there. And then I just kind of saturate the whole thing. Eh, I've been arting, can you tell? Your best tools are always your hands. All right, and then I just kind of daub it on there. And you want to work kind of quickly with this. And then we're going to collage it right here. So you can kind of see what they're going to look like together like the colors. Now let's say Scorch Timber is a little too gray. What if we wanted to go to Ground Espresso, a darker brown, or we want to do something a little bit more red, like a, a vintage photo, a little bit more orangey. There we go. And then I just take, when, this, when you're done with it, especially on these Art Foamy stamps, this is just water, a rag, and I just wipe off the excess as best I can.
you can do the same thing. Um, this will work for something that is intricate as the stamp. Um, but it won't work for really super intricate things. So, and I'd like to get my dauber cleaned off too. That way I can reuse it. So. Hello, Evelyn. Good to see you. So, um, the more I use this misty thing, the more I don't like it. <laughs> I sound really negative today. I don't like the speedball gel pad. I don't like this misty stamp. I don't know. It just doesn't, doesn't do it for me. It doesn't rock my ribbons. All right. So, we're going to do this in white. And I, one thing I do love, and I, the, the first time I use this, this is the Distressed Ink Picket Fence. Oh, oh my God. I love this stuff. Okay, so um, I put a um, paper towel down, and then we're going to take this guy, and we're going to lay it down this direction, because you can see the book pages still have the holes in them, and that might look cool for some other thing, but if I'm going to probably end up trimming that off anyway, so anyway. I'm going to boop it on here. Load it up. And you know what's cool about these scripts is if they don't if they don't transfer all of it, it's cool. You don't have to be really good at stamping to do this. And that's probably why I like it. So <laughs> and then I'm going to grab another paper towel. I always keep my like used paper towels around until they get to the point where they're falling apart. <laughs> Not that I'm cheap or anything, but they still have purpose. They still have value. Why throw it in the trash if it still has value? And I'm using this thing and I'm pushing real hard. And I don't know. If I had a big, I do have a big stamp stamper, I think, somewhere. I, I might have, I might have donated it. <laughs> To a better cause than me. Okay. See, I think that looks cool. I don't know if you're gonna be. Yeah. Have I seen the video on Kativa New Orleans creativation? I want to go to one of those so bad. I oh, I would love to go. I never got to be. I never got to do it though. Someday I will. I do live in a motorhome. Um, okay, so we're going to put that up there so it can dry. And we're going to do this one. Again, we're going to put this the seamy stuff on the side. I'd love to go to one of those. Though all the, all the stamp inks and stuff. And just all the things. All the cool stuff. All the nerdy toys. <laughs> I still want to go to CES, too. Everybody's like, well, that's tech stuff. I'm like, I know. I want to learn about it. Because you can't be afraid of tech. you got to embrace it. As I cussed my computer out because nothing was working 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Let me tell you. You would not have want to have been in my studio. or in, this is, I'm in Clara's studio, but you wouldn't have want to have been up here. About 20 minutes ago. All right. <laughs> yes, ner creative nerds, art nerds. Or as Rafi and Clay say, artroverts. I don't know. I think you're probably really extroverted considering I'm an artist. I do have my introverted moments. Like, there are times where I just, the world is too people-y, and I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> so, I don't. Like, I haven't, I don't think I've left the house in weeks. Oh, that looks really cool. See, this is why I like the white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure, you betcha. 
All right, so let's take, um, let's use a clean towel or clean-ish towel. And we're gonna change this distressed oxide and clean this off. And we'll pat it down. Okay. Um, so for this, let's do ground ex ground espresso. Jeez, oh Pete Tish. Words. Words are hard. All right. We're going to use ground espresso, not espresso. It's not express. <laughs> but it could be. We'll put this back over here. Oh, do we want to do it that dark? Yes, we do. Okay. Get that tapped off. And then I think I want to try the Tim Holtz one of these. Because his, you can like, you just like for the thicker stamps, you'd have it one way. And then for like the clear stamps, you have it the other way. I think I need another foam piece to do my clear stamps because clear stamps won't work at all in here. I don't know. Because I tried those earlier and they were not cooperating. And I think we're going to do this this way. No, I'm going to do it this way. There we go. Wait, that's right side up. There. Is that out? Yeah. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's in the background. No one's going to notice, right? Okay, ground espresso. And I just, these are hair binders. I use them because I, you can see I have it labeled here and I have them standing up on end. And depending on who you talk to, depends on how you're supposed to store them. <laughs> I just do me because I'm me and that's all I know how to do. Nope. Let's put this up here before we knock it over and break it. Because that's the kind of day I'm having. All right. Oh, that looks cool. See, even the dark colors look cool. See? This is a... Stampers Anonymous. This is the same Wendy... I don't know how to say her last name. I just can read. I can read Wendy. <laughs> so that looks cool. Hey. I really like that chrome too. All right. Let's get this guy out of the way. So, yeah, this is that stamp. You can see this is just straight up stamp. It's supposed to look like that. I mean, you can read it naturalist library and you can tell that's font and script you know or script and that's you know but that's the way it's supposed to look and i was having fun with it because i thought it was the inker or the ink pad and it wasn't it was just you know me <laughs> all right so with this one <clears throat> i'm going to turn this sideways and Hang on a second. Let's find a different color. I want a lighter color. No, that's too close to the purple. I don't even know if that fossilized amber is going to show up. Whoop. Okay, my hands don't want to work anymore. I was going to say, this mug will probably find it somewhere. Here it is. I found it. <laughs> I think this is, this, this, this is wilted violet, and I think it's too close to um, the purple we already have on here. I don't know if this is going to show up. 
Um, what else we got? Ooh, that's. That might be kind of fun for the flutter by. Let's keep that one out. That one's a new one for me. I've got Victorian velvet, which is probably dried up. That's why I'm saying. That's why I'm saying buy your refills. <laughs> Ooh, that will be good. Let's do that one. I know that one has some ink left in it. I was just using it. <clears throat> so get your refills. I got the ones for the new archivals. I, as soon as I ordered the pad, I ordered the, the refill. All right. Maybe we should do both of these greens. Ooh. And then some silver on top. Why not? I don't know how it's going to show up, but we're going to try. Where's my... I should have filled up my water bottle. It's almost empty. There we go. Okay. I'm going to eat up water. So these are my favorite stamps. These are the ones I use a lot. <clears throat> I just, I like the way this looks. It's got kind of a vintagey, vintage feel to it. We'll see if this works. And I don't like usually stamping with the oxides, but I don't have a lot of the, like I don't have Lucky Clover in the ink. If I did, I'd use that. We're going to do three of these. We're going to kind of strategically place them. Because um, oxides don't give you as crisp of a imprint. And that's very subtle. So let's see if we can find some other places where it's going to pop out a little bit more. And with the collaging, you don't have to, you can't, you don't have to like, oh, I have to stay on the paper. Go, have it go off the paper. There, the stamp police are not going to come arrest you. It, it's really pretty there. Let's do one right here. I like to do it in threes. Either one, three, or five, you know, sticking with the whole Fibonacci sequence thing. So let's, I, I'm excited to try that Twisted Citron. Mm -hmm. and let's do this one up here. Like that. You can hear me breathing. It's a person really hard to get a good impression. All right. Oh, that looks cool. So you can kind of see it. <laughs> it's there. I mean, it doesn't really, you can see the detail a little bit. I don't know. I think it's cool. I'm rolling with it. <laughs> it's all about doing layers and, and, um, giving it dimension without actually giving it dimension. All right. We're going to open this twisted citron. This was my last Michael's visit. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is epic. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I'm nerdy and I love lime green. <laughs> okay, loading it up. Let's turn it this way. And let's put him right there. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, this is going to be so cool. I'm such a good orc. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It's so cool. Deco art has an... Why did you have to tell me that, Evelyn? <laughs> You can see all three of those on your TV. Cool. That's what broadcasting in high definition does, I guess. That looks really cool. I like that. Okay. And if you're new to the channel, I am not matchy matchy. <laughs> I kind of go into things all kitty wampus and wonker doodle and I don't. I don't subscribe to the to the rules of art, but you should subscribe to this channel because there's some really amazing things coming up. Probably not till July or after, but it's coming. I'm working on it. I'm only one woman. All right, one more. And he's just going to be a little peek of a guy. Let's do it right here. Like a so. There we go. <laughs> he looks like he's dive bombing. <laughs> because you're an enabler. Thanks, Evelyn. Thanks. <laughs> I already have $100 in my Amazon cart, but it's stuff I need. <clears throat> All right, let's spray this. Rule. Oh, my goodness. Hang on. I got to see this. <gasps> oh, my goodness. You see how it, it's all dusty? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. I see this with the, with, where'd it go? Yes. I see these two together in a project coming up very soon. And, um, oh, the, what's it called? Torch timber. That, I, mm, I love that. All right. Let's clean you up. You need a little bath. Should have got my up. Oh, wait, I got a bottle of water up here. <laughs> I need to I'll top it off with my drinking water. Give it a little drink and me a little drink. Okay. Let's throw that over there so it can dry. And then, hmm. I don't want to do gold because let's do this. Um, Iridescent stainless steel. Let's give it a good shake. I got a clean dauber. I think silver would look better than gold. But then again, I'm not partial to gold. And I might want to hit this with the hair dryer. Hang on. Whoop. Actually, let's 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 do some more script. Let's 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 do that. Okay. Maybe. Maybe do one right here. Is this dry? No, he's not dry. Hang on. We gotta dry him. I'm gonna mute my microphone.
Okay, you're still a little wet, and you know what? He's still a little wet. So let's grab a dry paper towel, and we'll just blot him. Because he's a background, so we can do that. <laughs> and you know what? It's handmade. All right. I want to use the scorched timber on here. I think to kind of mellow hit them out. This is the scorched timber, and I, I love this color. I absolutely love this color. So we're going to take, this is a Robin McClendon stamp, Art Foamy stamp. Um, do I like Art Foamies? Mm, some of them are really good. Some of them are not so good. Um, I think some of them are good for multimedias. Like this is good for paint or ink or whatever, but some of them you can only use with paint. Okay. I think we're going to just put this one right up in the corner right here. Right about there. Boopity boopity boop. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to do that one again, but we're only going to do the top part and we're just going to put it right through here. That looks really cool. Okay. I haven't, this is so new, I haven't even put the label on it yet. How's that for new? We're just going to line him up right about there. So this one I didn't do in threes. And I'll probably just do the silver right here and right here. Okay. So there's that. And then, or this stainless steel. So shake it up. I think I already shook it up, but we're just going to make sure it shook up. <laughs> there we go. So just a little bit. Okay. The thing I like about the daubers is you can use it to clean it up because I am horrible about cleaning it up. Ooh, there's stainless steel and in the actual paint. Look, as a magnet. It's sticking. That, that's kind of cool. All right. Let's spread it out a little bit. Let's start in the middle. I think we might need a little bit more. That's kind of that's kind of cool. Cuz there's a new it's a new sponge, so it absorbs more than it. And that's why I um, wipe them off, because then you can use them still. Okay, now we're just going to kind of go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that was kind of my new magic trick. <laughs> okay. Okay. And... Let's do one. I want to kind of put it right here. I think. I don't want to cover up the green guy too much. But I think. Yeah. Let's do this guy right here. I know. The, I'm just. I, layers. Layers upon layers. Because you brayered the layers of paint. And then you put. Layer the ink on top. So we are using multiple medias. Oh, see, yeah, I like that. Because it's very subtle. I didn't want, I, I the green is popping enough. It didn't need, it didn't need any help. <laughs> I think the gold would have been too much. <coughs> this is, <laughs> this is kind of silly. Oh, well. And 
let's do a little bit more. I'm literally putting like a long drop. And then I just take my finger and spread it out a little bit. And pounce it on there. You can also use these for stenciling. Ooh, too bad I don't have my stencils up here. I brought them back down to the RV because I was tripping over the big old tub of them. It's not a big old tub, it's just... And then we're going to put this one right here. Like that. And I think we'll put just the edge of one right there. So lift. And a little bit more. Just a little bit. Over here, I know I went all the way around because I want to do <coughs> something I rarely do try and line that back up. Hopefully, we had it going the right way. Oops. All right, there we go. All right, let's take a little bit of water. I don't want to use water on the stamp. I want to use water on, you can use a baby wipe. I haven't had a baby in 20 years, so <laughs> I don't have them right handy. And I just get most of it off the surface just so it remains intact and you'll get little clump clumpies. But that's such a pretty stamp. And this isn't a Robin McClendon one, but this is another art for me one. Um, they had a, a sale a while back and um, it was like orders of $75 or more get free shipping. So... I ordered all the Rob of McClendon ones and I ordered a few more just to kind of see what they were all about. I think I recorded a video, but I never edited it because, you know, editing is not my thing. I'm curious. Nope. Just the bottle is magnetic. Okay. <laughs> this is the, welcome to Tisha's brain. All right. I think we're going to leave it at that. So, you took something plain Jane, or we took something plain Jane, and made it a lot more interesting. So, let's do the next one. Okay, now we got to think of darker colors, because lighter colors are not going to show up on there. So, let's do, I do want to do the mulberry on this. I think the mulberry would be great. Um, how about some coffee? Because this we did, yeah, this was the um, ground espresso with a wilted violet, actually. Let's see. I think that might be bright enough. No, I don't think so. I think we're going to use that. We're going to use the wilted violet on the brown. I think that'll work really well. <coughs> so, but you know what will work really cool is the seedless preserves. 
I need to get an inker, a re-inker for that one. So let's go mulberry. No, let's go night sky. See this preserves and coffee. Okay. And we're going to do one here. Wow, that really pops. And here. And here. Okay. There we go. That looks cool already. Um, I do have the archival ink cleaner, but what I do sometimes in between is this is rubbing alcohol. I'll put a little rubbing alcohol on here and just kind of blot it. So I get the extra ink off. There, see, I got the extra ink off of there. I'm going to set it over here. Okay. And you know what? Let's do these in kind of reverse order. Let's bring in coffee, and we're going to put this, the script guy. This this is the one we used on the last one, and then we're going to use this one. Um, yeah. So we're going to change up the order a little bit. And I know this one's nice and juicy. Because I just re-inked it. And I think we're going to turn this like this. I wiggled it a little bit. That's okay. I'm going to take this. And we're going to do it right like here. And we're just not going to wiggle it as much. <laughs> I'm like a bull in a china shop. I do not pretend to be a delicate flower. There we go. That looks cool. That looks really cool. All right. Which one do you, that I'll call it. There we go. Okay. Put that up there. Now let's do this guy, and this one we are going to use the gold. Because I think it would be weird to not use the gold. <coughs> Get the dauber out. See, this one's dry, but it's still soft and smushy. So... Use your magic finger, spread it around. Okay, let's 
start in the middle, work our way out. Okay. And drop one here. I kind of like it with, with the liquid, the uh, fluid acrylics, because it's like, it doesn't seem to smear as much. Oh. Dun, da, da, da. All right, a little bit more. Like half a pea size. That makes me hungry for tuna salad. <laughs> I put, I make tuna noodle salad in a, in a true Minnesota way, yo. And I put cheese and fresh peas, tuna, a combination of mayonnaise and Miracle Whip, and of course tuna and salt and pepper. It's really good. And now I want it. <laughs> So we're going to do this one right about there. And we're going to do the flutterbys. And hopefully, I'm hoping this pink will stand out enough. And you guys know me. Well, if, you don't, if you're new to the channel, you don't know me. But I am not a fan of pink. And so for me to even be considering it is kind of a miracle. Let's get a clean towel. And you know what? I'm getting tired of arguing. <laughs> Let me just put some, drink, some of my drinking water in here. Because it's not just spring water. It's natural Texas spring water. So while we have it open, take a sip. A little for the bottle, a little for me. All right. Much better. I think the stamp's clearer than my hands. All right. There we go. Put that up there. Put that up there so it can dry. We we're going to do this sky a little bit too. Just to get rid of the extra so he's not. And then he stays soft. We like soft and cuddly. Okay. Now I'm wondering if I shouldn't. Do I want to use that color? Put some little guava around there. Or. No, we only use fossilized number. Or do we want to? I don't know how inky this is. Hang on, let's check. Yeah, it's pretty inky. Let's do this one. Hmm. We don't have swatches of these made yet. Yet. Hmm. And that's on white though, so we gotta remember we got different background colors. I want something that's gonna pop. Let's see what I, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's see how inky this guy is. <laughs> I 
Yes, I'm using the correct terminology. Let's get rid of some of these rubber bands there in my way. Okay. This is Petunia. Oh, you know what? I do have a reinker for him now, too. Okay. Oh, there we go. I'm sold. It's almost... It's darker than the blue, but it's still got that purple. Okay, here we go. screwed it up <laughs> that is the one this is the way okay <gasps> I get so excited about the silliest things but you know what it's okay art is my happy place Okay, and then this guy is going to go here ish. One more, and we're going to do him kind of dive bombing in. I don't know. I kind of like, well, they're not really dragonflies. Dragonflies are really fun to watch. Because they dive bomb after the gnats and mosquitoes and stuff. It's kind of funny to watch them. All right. Let's do... Like right about there. Okay. There we go. Oh my goodness. Good job, Mama. All right, so let's take a look. That is really cool. Look at those butterflies. Look at them. All right. Let's put this one aside. Let it dry. <coughs> one more. Because <laughs> I'm having fun. It's been a while since I've done an hour live stream. So. Let's do we're gonna do see this preserves because that's this one. And I think that'll go good with the red. And we need to clean him up. Hang on. Where'd my cleanish rig go? We're gonna clean him up a little bit. go you know what I like to do with these when they're they got the cleaner on them I just stamp them somewhere because it's still cool and then you can do it again and I clean the sponge off I know, I know. I can hear you all. You guys, you're crazy. It's all good. Not the first people to call me crazy. I live in a motorhome after all. 
I think I've mentioned that. Okay. Now we gotta let him dry. I don't know why I call it a him. Could be a her. And it could be a moth, not a butterfly. I don't know. It looks like a butterfly to me. But then I'm not a, what is it, a, a etymologist, ephthalmologist, something like that. <clears throat> Grisham. That's all I think of. When I think of bugs, I think of Grisham on CSI. <laughs> okay, so we got picket fence already on there. Um, let's do seedless preserves. Let's do the um, night sky again. And we're going to do... We're going to do... Hold the show. I've got a bronze somewhere. Yes. We can just use the same dauber that we used for the gold. We're going to do the big guy first. I'm going to do him first. We'll just use this dauber. These dry. Mostly. I don't know how I do this so badly, but I do. Okay, a little bit on there. So we're doing kind of a reverse order. We're just kind of you know, layering them different. And that way, even though we're using the same stamps, they'll still have a different feel to them. Start in the middle. I think I need a little bit more. I think I smooched it out a little bit too far. There we go. There we go. Do, 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 do. I think this would look really pretty on a wallpaper. It reminds me of, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, what's that stuff called? Wrought iron, like a wrought iron fence. So we're going to do one here. And then I'm just going to do tip to tip to tip. I think I need just a little bit more because we're going to do one more in the corner after this one. So I need a little bit more. Tip to tip. There we go. Move this out of the way. Yeah. Okay. And we're gonna do one in the corner here, so we'll do tip to tip again. giving it quite a bit of firm pressure so I get that paint to squish out. There we go. Ta-da! It didn't, it didn't print as well there, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Now, the reason why I don't just spray the foamy is because, well, I could now because I'm not going to use it again tonight, probably. Um, but they take a little bit to dry out if you get them soaking wet. 
but you can also take it and let do it over here. You know, when it's wet and it's missed it, and then you can just stamp it on something. This would probably even get a still, just a very faint silhouette. Yeah, see, just very faint. So, yeah, it's kind of fun. All right, let's take out this guy. And I'm going to do ground espresso because he's nice and dark. I want something dark. I don't want black. Not tonight. So we're going to do most of this. Okay. Get you out of my way. I think we're going to go right about there. So cool. I was using these like I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. It's very clear. These these are like I don't know, plastic hair binders. They're great for your hair because they don't pull your hair, and I have very fine hair, so um they're great for your hair, but not so great for holding stuff together. There we go. All right, now that we're going to put this one I don't think I covered it that far. There we go. All right, let's turn it this way. Just like that up there. And then I almost just I almost feel like that's not going to show up. But let's do the butterfly in blue. And this medallion in red. Because if it doesn't show up, it's not a big deal. I want the butterflies to pop out. We're going to put this guy right here. I will let her know, Evelyn. Do one up here. Like that. I think we need one and one. So let's do that. I know I'm going out of my three zone. Like those in red and then okay put 
up there. And then I think the butterfly. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. I'm wondering if this blue is going to be too dark. Nope. I think it'll be good. Okay, let's put the lid on this guy. And let's get our butterfly out. I'm going to put one right here. One for one. There we go. Oh, yeah. See, I like that. No, we're going to do one right, like, right here. I got a little smudged. That's okay. That's three. We're going to just do a little dive bomber right here. butterfly wing right there. Okay, let's put the lid on this. We got the lid on everything else, right? All the lid on the paint. Yep. Okay. And we're going to do this guy. Right here. I wanted a little bit more, but that's okay. I set it down and now I'm committed. There we go. I think we're good. So, let's clean this guy off. All right, so let's clear off this table a little bit. And we'll flip this piece of paper over, but see, okay, 
I use this as a background thing, but you could really like punch this out with a circle punch, you know, and do some really cool things with that. But we'll use this to kind of show you what we got done. So, oh, there we go. Come on, you know you want to. There you go. Cool background. Go back. This is my prototype. So, and I used that. That's why I didn't think that pink would show up very good on this one or the other one too, because it doesn't show up really good on this. So, there's that one. And then we've got the flying green. <laughs> butterflies which I love oh my goodness and we've got some silver that's not silver that is stainless steel and then this one so in the comments let me know which one you like the best one two three or four so I appreciate you stopping by. You guys have a great day, night, evening, morning, whenever, wherever you're watching this thumb from thumb. Oh, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I appreciate you. Remember, be kind to one another. Peace, love, and happiness. <laughs>